Howell. I am the author of Cleaving, A Story of Marriage, Meat, and Obsession, uh, uh, detailing my experience apprenticing here at Fleischer's uh, Butcher Shop in upstate New York. Um, before I started butchering, I um, was just a secretary in New York, and I decided uh, that I was my first project that I ever did uh, in terms of cooking was that I was going to cook my way through uh, Julie Child's Mastering the Art of French Cooking, which is this amazing book that sort of changed the American culinary landscape back in the early 60s. And I cooked it, through it in a year and I blogged about it. And eventually that blog became a book, uh, Julie and Julia, which is now um, a movie coming out to theaters near you. Oh, Julia, you make it sound so simple. <laughs> In the course of that year, I learned a lot about uh, I learned a lot about all kinds of cooking. And one of the most challenging things I had to do in that year was completely bone uh, a whole duck. Yeah, there's all of this stuff on the floor. Oh, never apologize. And it was one of the fi my finest achievements. I thought uh, that I was able to do that. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate that technique today. Uh, what I've got here instead of a duck, obviously, is a chicken. Um, and which is, we'll see, it's a little bit of a challenge. The meat of chicken is a little looser than a duck um, and it's a little smaller, so we'll see how it all works, but uh, I think we'll be able to do it. So you start by, you, you know, turn it over onto its back and you just take a knife and you need the knife to be pretty sharp because um, it needs to cut very easily. You just cut straight down to the backbone all the way down. just like so. Now, when you're trying to bone a bird, a whole bird, the challenge is to not tear through to the skin. You want, you want because usually when you're using a boneless whole bird, you're either baking it in something or you're, you're trying to make something that'll, um, so if you, if you pierce the skin, you're gonna lose moisture and it's, not, it's gonna be harder to make it you know, nice and crisp and lovely. So what you wanna do, you're gonna, all you're gonna do is kind of just peel, <laughs> peel the meat off of the carcass. So I'm just cutting it open here a little bit so I can show you. You know, this is something that, you know, at least, you know, Americans don't do much of this anymore. Um, this sort of cooking and this sort of butchery. Um, I think that in, in Europe and in, in, in Britain, a lot of these uh, techniques are still kind of vital uh, to the culinary uh, experience. So. It's kind of exposed, you can see, expose the ribs and the joints of the thigh, thigh bones in all butchery, um, but especially when you're dealing with something this small. It's a, actually a very delicate thing, you know, you don't, people think of it as sawing and hacking and whatnot, but it's actually very, it's, it can be tough work, but it's delicate work. Now I just reached in there and with my hands broke the thigh from the leg joint, just broke that right in half, and I'm gonna keep the thigh attached to the carcass. Eventually, we'll use the carcass for stock. Um, there are any number of things you can use chicken bones for. And I'm just gonna kinda loosen up that joint a little bit, or that, the leg bone, the drumstick, a little bit. And then you can do this sort of fun thing. Let's see if I can do it right. There we go, just pull it kinda inside out, you kinda, like pulling a shirt over your head. <clears throat> you know, when I was working, doing my first, boning my first bird, my duck, um, Julia Child in her book has a very long, detailed description of how one bones a duck. And what she says when you're at about this stage is, at this point you're going to think it's a complete mess and you're, there, you don't know how you're ever going to make sense of it, but if you just have faith, basically. It'll all come out right in the end. Boning out chickens is something of a, something a lot of people, as I said, it's not something a lot of people do anymore um, because it is, most of the dishes you do with that are kind of labor intensive. Um, but one thing you can do that's kind of cool and isn't so hard is a um, brick chicken. Because um, what we're gonna come up with here is a flat, boneless piece of meat um, and that you can flatten out and it'll be all, you know, white meat and dark meat together, but it'll be all one thickness so that you can put it on a grill and it's gonna cook evenly. I'm at the ridge of cartilage right there. And that's where you have to be very careful not to pierce the skin. 
there it is, and I've reached the book, reached the breastbone on the other side, so it's just a matter of snipping these tendons that are holding the a couple of small little bones that are clinging to the meat here. And we are, we are out. Let's see. So, this is, you can see the entire chicken here, chicken carcass, all connected. <laughs> and you have this evenly shaped piece of meat, totally boneless. Kind of make it into a little heart shape if you want it. <clears throat> and that's, that's a whole bone chicken. You know, I, I, once, someone once told me that turkeys should not be big and round, they should be flat like a pancake, so you have more skin and per, and that's sort of what you're doing here, is you're making a little chicken pancake and the skin becomes very nice and crispy and delicious. So, yeah, that's how you bone a chicken. Mm -hmm.